The Catholic Church rejects nothing of that which is true and holy in the other great religions of the world. Even across the many differences of teaching, the Church has a high regard for the life, conduct and doctrines of many who reflect rays of God's enlightening truth. Our Catholic faith encourages our relationships with those of other religions, our interreligious dialogue. Yet understandably, many of us are not so sure what this might mean. Do we have to prove our faith? Or do we have to accept that all beliefs are ultimately the same? In fact, the Church understands four main forms of interreligious dialogue. And when we consider the four, we realize that every one of us can make this part of our faith a reality. In a nutshell, the four forms of dialogue are about life, action, religious experience and theological exchange. Most easily we understand the dialogue of life as the many ways in which we can share day-to-day -day friendship and gestures of living with people of other religions. These ways build goodwill and contribute to the kingdom of Jesus Christ in which we believe. The dialogue of life is firmly part of the work of God that is an expression of our faith. The dialogue of action goes a little further by tapping into the desire for goodness and peace that many people of different religions share. There have been great examples of people from parishes getting together with groups from other religions in their neighbourhood and in a spirit of friendship, joining in projects of service and justice. In this form of dialogue is a building block of the Kingdom of God. Dialogue of religious experience is exactly that communicating to each other about what we value in our religious practice and understanding. This is not about proving anything, but it is a deeply human initiative to enhance understanding. Many groups have found a remarkable treasure of peace through such dialogue. Something assisted when there is an agreed process and a goal so that no one's motive is to dominate. At the same time, everyone is permitted to gently and openly share their priority of belief. For a Catholic Christian, for example, it allows them to speak con with conviction about Jesus, about Mary and about the sacraments. A Catholic Christian trusts that God is in the midst of this dialogue, the Holy Spirit moving as He wills. Dialogue of Theological Exchange looks at the more specific teachings and theological expressions of each religion. This form of dialogue is where spiritual specialists from the different backgrounds seek to deepen their understanding of each other's heritage, beliefs and application to life. 